for the very first time and the reason is well I'm visiting my friend who has been living here for one year already so no more stress no more overthinking and planning my trip because she will show me the city around so it's a good thing I arrived yesterday on Thursday pretty late so I've got the whole weekend to explore because I'm flying back to Budapest only on Sunday so yeah uh, we are waiting for the ferry. We will go to check out the old city, Gamlestan, public library, royal palace. Uh, we will have a fika. It's a, a kind of Swedish coffee break. And in the evening we will go to a restaurant. That's our plan for today. It's our ferry. We can slow dance naked in the moonlight. We can get so damn wasted out of our minds until we're happy. Here I am in the heart of Galveston, standing in the historic Stortigit Square, the oldest square in Stockholm, surrounded by colorful buildings. And just around the corner, you can see the Novo Museum. As you can see here, there is a red building called as the Rubinska Huset. And actually this monument is a reminder of the infamous event that occurred in 1520 where the Danish king killed all 82 Swedish nobles. And these white stones represent the head of a murdered Swedish noble. I really love this cozy, narrow street. It feels like I'm in uh, Italy actually. You are also welcome to visit the treasury with the state regalia and the Trikroner Museum about the palaces and We have witnessed the guard ceremony. It takes place every day and lasts about 40 minutes. So if you're in Stockholm, go and check it out. Lovely, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, very much. <laughs> the best place for Fika. Yeah. And we have arrived. So let's see what is inside, how it looks like. Oh my god, I really like this. And you can just take a seat. Study. I just love it. If I lived here, I would come to this library every other weekend to just sit, chill, read a book. Stockholm. After a delightful dinner last night, we just crashed at home all dead to be honest. But I had an amazing sleep. So now I'm all recharged for today's adventure. <laughs> for today's plan, we are heading now for the city viewpoint <laughs> here on the way. Uh, after that, we would like to explore the Dew, Dew, Dew Garden Park. I think I'm pronouncing it correct. Not sure though. <laughs> uh, venturing to the Porsche Ostermalm neighborhood, checking the local market and topping it off with a Christmas lighting show. The weather is actually nice because uh, a couple of days ago when I checked the forecast, it was all about the rain. <laughs> but I guess I'm lucky because there's no rain, it's warm, a bit cloudy. I really like the view. <laughs> Every small district 
it has its own church. Ay, sí. Ah, yo creo que porque la rueda y la Rosendalstreger is a beautiful garden located on Dune Garden Island in Stockholm. It's one of the true gems and if you are there, go and check it out. I just recommend it. It's known for its organic gardens, orchards and greenhouses. And there's also a cafe that offers soups, sandwiches, pastries. <laughs> it's a good place to have a pika or lunch. So now we are on the way to the Ostermalm neighborhood. Uh, currently it's just 3 p.m. So I hope we will be on time for the lightning show. Let's see. If you are a food lover, and I guess you are, you should definitely check this market. It's a food lover's paradise, featuring an area of fresh produce, gourmet treats, and local specialties. And if you are a lover of Italian cuisine, then Italy is your culinary paradise. I couldn't help but be enchanted by the immersive atmosphere and vibrant energy that fills every corner of this Italian world. two cool metro stations in Stockholm. One of them is decentral and is like stepping into a Greek place with art survives and the other one it's called Sona Centrum. It's all decked out in cool blue colors. We just arrived home. Currently it's 7 p.m. and I don't think we'll go anywhere so we just stay in, have a dinner and rest. I did 70,000 steps today. Mm. Um, <laughs> error. <laughs> I'm feeling very exhausted, but at the same time, I'm so happy because I visited many countries. I'm not saying like many, many, and I haven't traveled um, to all European countries, but I can tell based on my feelings. I'm just happy, like genuinely. And you know, when um, I was walking today at the park, I wanted to cry, I don't know, like, I was just in peace. You know, when, I, when I'm traveling, uh, at the end of the day, I'm thinking, oh, I wanna go back to Budapest, uh, to my apartment, you know, mm -hmm. to just uh, have my own routine and, but, here in Stockholm, it feels different. So maybe one day I will live here. So we'll see how it will turn out. <laughs> Can't tell much now. <laughs> I'm flying back home to Budapest around 10 p.m. tomorrow. So I have a whole day, but it's gonna be more chill and relaxing. Uh, we haven't planned out uh, properly our Sunday, but I know for sure that we'll go to one special place that my friend loves for lunch. 
and uh, probably we'll have a walk um, around in the neighborhood. So yeah, we'll see. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I'm so at peace, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm loving this moment. <laughs> I'm taking my last walk this weekend in Stockholm. I checked to be precise. I was told that there is a good bar. Uh, it's called Road Buset, so maybe I will check it out. I like the idea. <laughs> 